Hello everybody, this is Scott, and today we'll actually be doing a re -re revisit of a product which was Malwarebytes Anti-Exploit. It was originally an Anti-Exploit, but now Malwarebytes has officially completely welcomed it into its family. So we're going to be looking at it again and see what they've changed. Let me explain to you how an Anti-Exploit software works. <clears throat> Anti-Exploit works very simply. Very simply. Let's say I have a bad browser, Internet Explorer, and it's open to a black hole vulnerability, all right? A black hole is just generally a poorly lined of, it's another, it's an access point for malware to enter the machine. Generally an exploit will see, okay, that's exploitable. An exploitable code would be something where it could control it and manipulate it easily to get past secure settings. So then it's going to say, okay, and now it can get in there and get past and install malware onto your machine. Anti-exploit says, uh, okay, I know what this vulnerability is, and it's going to pre prevent it from using its tactics to get in. <gasps> ah, sorry about that. It's going to prevent, like, the Sakura exploit as well from getting on your machine and wreaking havoc upon it. You won't have to worry about that with anti-exploit, which is why if within recent times the rule of three will no longer exist. The rule of three it was anti well it was just generally the rule of two and then some call it the rule of three because they're generally both together. Anti-spyware anti, anti and anti-malware and a firewall. That is the rule of three. Those are the three things you should have. Most antivirus products have anti mal anti spyware built in, so it's really the rule of two. But uh, I digress again. It is very. How do I put this? It needs to change. Threats are constantly changing in the world. We have malware that didn't even wasn't even thought of back in the day and there is more malware on the market there's a, so much malware on the market that no nothing will actually be protected um what i mean by nothing will be protected the amount of malware that's created daily is so high that there is no antivirus company or alliance of antivirus companies that can actually combat it it's just completely ridiculous and that's why the rule of three will have to change you will be needing an antivirus software with multiple engines preferably you will be needing an ant a separate anti-spyware program such as spybot which anti-spyware programs are dying but they've proven to put their databases are generally more centrally focused around anti-spyware which is why they're generally better at it then you'll need the firewall. Firewalls, great. You need a strong one. Komodo firewall. Online armor. Uh, even private firewall is great. And then you're going to need an anti-exploit software like Malwarebytes, which is like the only one of its actual kind on the market. So Malwarebytes is in a good, really good position right now. Then you're going to need an anti-key logging software. And with all of those, you'll have a secure system. The system wise, but then you're gonna need to go into your browser. Okay. You're gonna need to have searches, so all your searches will have ratings next to them. Kind of like with the uh, Web of Trust thing that I have installed. It will scan all the web pages and tell me the rating. Alright, if it's bad, don't bother going there. If it, And then I have one that scans for malware. If it's bad, I don't go there. It's fairly simple. And all of these will have to combine to actually make your system secure in the real world. And this Malwarebytes anti-exploit is actually very, very useful. Let me explain to you basically how this is going to work. What are these shielded applications? I launch Chrome. It's now shielding Chrome. So any exploit that it detects in its system for Chrome will no longer exist. See? Google Chrome, now protected. If, for some reason, I did download uh, like the Sakura exploit or some kind of black hole exploit, Malwarebytes anti-exploit is going to say, okay, uh, d does this look like an exploit? So before it even gets a chance to try anything, 
I was gonna say, does this look like an exploit? Do I know what it is? If it says no, then it's probably not an exploit. But in the event of it saying, if it says no and it is an exploit, then you're gonna contract malware and that's where your antivirus product steps in. So while the program can't protect your browser from everything, it will protect it from various threats. And the thing works very quickly. Like if I turn on Firefox, shielded. Uh, Chrome, it's gonna shield twice. Once, twice. Internet Explorer, this is gonna take a while. There we go, blank page too twice so the program will protect it against the basic malware that you will basically come by with exploits but exploits while not being the main issue on the market there's nothing that really protects you except for those patch Tuesdays or product updates that you get like there's no help for Java so Java you guys Oracle needs to get their stuff together I'm just saying every other day when <laughs> I remember when the Homeland Security had to step in and say oh, this exploit for Java was so bad that they recommend turning off Java or uninstalling it. If you cause an issue that bad, you need to get your stuff together, guys. Like, just stop screwing around and just fix the frickin' exploits. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for another video. If you have any questions about how the program actually works, Ask me, and I'll do another video explaining in depth how the program will work and why it is you should use it. But otherwise, we are done here. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. So thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.